Hey there, this is Anthony from West Coast Custom Concrete, the best in the West. Today we will be demoing 1,700 square feet in Fountain Valley, California. I'm on the S70 with a 375 pound Susan hydraulic hammer. This is the biggest hammer in the class. Um, I showed up to my yard and the S70 was in the back and um, I didn't want to load my bigger tractor. So I just brought this, just not to make a point, just to show how any you can use this S70 on any residential. This is wire mesh. The other side has rebar in it. I just mash right through this. And this video has got a bunch of cool angles on it, a bunch of different views where you guys can really get a good look at it. This is about 1,700 square feet. I started about 8.30 and we were done, I think, at 12.30. Two huge loads in a semi. I'm unlocking the corner over here. It was really thick and there's wire mesh in it. And um, once I unlock it, I really just gangbuster this thing. You can see the technique and the way I go about it. I finally got some solid tires on my S70. I got to give a shout out to South Coast Bobcat and Orange. They took care of me and put them on for me. And really nice over there. So this is the Hammer Max is uh, repping for. This is the um, Susan SQ20. And anyone who wants to be on a walk behind or these other tractors and go up against me, I, I would love to um, set that up. Because th this is like child's play blowing this out. This 1,700 square feet, we broke it loaded in about four hours. It's locked against the wall. This tractor is just, uh, this is the ultimate residential because you can get in the backyard. You don't have to worry about if it's in the front or the back and you can handle any residential demo with it. Any demo in general. So this setup right here is, um, I must be selling the crap out of these for Bobcat. I know they're watching. Holler at me, Bobcat. People are calling me every day about this S70. This is the ultimate little machine for grading, braking. Just continually breaking this out. Gonna unlock it against the wall. And then you can just really just pound it out and flip it up and over and lift it. I'm continually just hammering this out. Once I unlock it, I can just lift it like this and flip it up and over. And I can see where the wire is at. And I just hit in between it or right on the wire. So if you guys are watching this and you want to start a business or pumping or demo, I'm probably the alpha and the omega of concrete on YouTube. In a way I go about it. I mean, this is a generally in the backyard, if there's no access and only for the mini, I charge between three to five dollars a square foot. So this 16, 1700 square foot, I think 1600 times three is probably about 4,800 bucks. With dump fees, you'd walk away with about $4,200 in four hours on this. But I, I could have brought any tractor I wanted in here, so I didn't charge. I just charged for the demo like it was a front yard because I didn't have to bring the mini. You could have got a semi back here. I mean, you could have got an S250, any tractor you want back here. He had a barn door with RV access, so I didn't charge the three a foot for this because of that. I just brought this because it was in back of my track, back of my trailer. And I wasn't too motivated to take it down in the morning and load the other tractors, one or the other one. This setup sweet with these solids. You can, you can grade compact really good with it. It sinks you, sinks you down to the ground really tight when you're grading or compacting. And you can see with this hammer, uh, Max at American Alliance has got these. Um, I'll put his number in the description. It's a Susan SQ20. The other one you guys see me using is an SQ35, 550-pound uh, breaker. And this is plenty to go through basically anything. I mean, I've done videos going through 12 inches with this. But people are trying to sell you pipe dreams and wolf tickets telling you you can use other stuff. And 
buy this stuff. I mean, I paid eleven grand for this tractor, and Susan hooked me up with a breaker, so I got about eleven thousand in the setup, and I probably made it back in a couple of weeks, less than a month. So your investment risk and reward, if you got work for it, it's it's a really good investment. It's a low risk investment because you could sell it for whatever you bought it for, no problem. These go like hotcakes. And coming back here, there's just a bunch of different pores at this house. This whole side had wire mesh. The other side had rebar. And um, I did two full semis of, of um, concrete. And then I had about a yard or yard and a half of brick I had to haul. Which you can't mix it because they crush this concrete and they, and they use it for uh, road base. And the clay is concrete and you can't get compaction out of it. So if you have brick or anything in it and you go to the crushing plant in Orange County, they'll kick you out of there. So you, you can't mix the brick in it. You have to separate it, which is kind of a nightmare, but that's the rule, so I don't put any brick in it. And I did this so fast. I was home before 1 o'clock. So, yeah, I'm just flipping this through and lifting it up. I lift it up and get a little void in it in the air, and then I go straight down through it, and then I surge forward, and it'll rip the wire and separate it. Because if you keep the wire connected, there's too many voids in the truck. You can't get anything, a good load in there. the head cam on to get some really good views so you guys can see inside the cab what it looks like when I'm doing it and the way I go about it but I, I can make really easy work of this this was and, we, and you can load it this was a really nice job because it was so accessible but a lot of times I'm around pool decks or I'm in tight little patios with this S70 so sometimes you can't go up against the house and you got to jump out of the tractor and throw it in the bucket or have a guy on the ground throwing it away from the house so when you get it a piece doesn't fall over into the house and hit the house so I'm just lift once I can get in it, I'll just move the whole piece. I got it lifted up on a piece of concrete where there's a void in it. And then when I go when I'm going through, like I was saying, I just break the wire off. Because if you go in the back of the truck and and shift the load and try and get the voids out with it stuck to all this wire, you really can't get anywhere with it and you'll get the crap cut out of you by the by the wire in there. So I separate every piece by just ripping the wire with the tractor the way I'm doing it. Because this was 1,600 square feet and I got it in two loads. So maybe 1,700 square feet. I can't remember. I think it was 1,720 to be exact. And there's not much to worry about on this job. It's just pretty much in the open. You can just hammer through it and just put a crack in it. Once you see a crack, just lift it up and move it. Just surge forward. And keep putting gaps in between the pieces. Because when you go to load it, if it's all connected on the ground, it'll get tighter and tighter. So I move it and fling each piece as I go. You know, I put a void and a gap in between me and the next piece. And I just go, you can go right through this. I'll smoke anyone on this setup. And this is an S70. and a, um, It's a 375 pound breaker. It's a pretty good, pretty big breaker for an S70. It's by far the biggest in the class. It has the most power, mo most torque. And I'm just going to pull that away from the fireplace there. You can break it clean. They didn't have no foam to separate it, but... Concrete won't connect to it. It won't, it won't bond or adhere to it. You can just break it, and when it starts rattling, it just fling it away from it. There's no dowels or nothing. And even if there was, just hit it right on the dowel, right on the rebar, and it, it breaks the concrete right off of it. That's generally how I do it. Coming up, you'll see, I think right behind where I'm at, there's rebar in that section. Because there's two different pores with wire and rebar. So I knew it was going to be two, really close on two loads, so I had to break it all apart so I can get it and two loads. And the next video will be the setup and the pour of this, which came out really good. That should be out by Sunday. And we got an S590 here. We're just loading it out with this. So once he loads it all out, then I'll break the other half. So I'm just hanging out waiting for him to load it, and then I'll break the other half from the farthest point back so I can get out and don't lock myself in. You'll see it once he gets all the concrete out of there. This is a four-hour day. And with the solids, I could run over the wire in the corners. And with those air tires I had, I probably would have got a flat. So I'm just going to use those as backup and foam fill them. And when I wear these solids out, I'll just burn those off the round until I'll get them foam filled. But when you get them foam filled, they want the tires for like five days or something. And I didn't have another set, so I never went to do it till I got these. Now I can drop those off. 
is loading this out. See, I'll start from the farthest point and work back so I don't get trapped in there. This is the section with the wire. That brick planter you see at the top of the screen, I took that out too. And then there's a square section to my left from sitting on the tractor of uh, um, like a brick on the ground I took out. Sometimes you do some of these old jobs that look old. You don't know what you're going to get, what's going to be in it, what, how thick. I've came across stuff like this that's 12, 13 inches thick. So I'll just pull it away from the house and break it. So stick the breaker down in there and then pull. you can fling it away to your left and move the whole piece so it doesn't fall into the house. That's a really good view from inside the cab. I got, a, I got the um, action camera on my head. The video prior to this, I tried it on my chest, and the vantage point wasn't good. So I just flip it up and over, so when he goes into it, he can, he can plow into it, and the whole pile doesn't move. And you can see where the wire's at. They lifted some of it, some of it they didn't. I'm just continually just mowing through this with this. If you're going to start a business or a demo business, I mean, there's so much misinformation on here. Just because they put it on YouTube doesn't mean they're right. You can obviously see what an F70 can do compared to anything else on here. I mean, you, if you need a bigger tractor and you're doing big, bigger jobs, but if you're on residential or commercial, it's good to have both, a bigger and a smaller, because you never have to turn any job down or worry about the access. No matter what, you're coming home with a check. That's how I view it. And I go and crawl into a lot of backyards that are really tight. I'm really good in tight areas. I've, I've done so much of it. So for me... They can use five guys in a wheelbarrows and three bins and, you know, pay more. Or I could charge them the same and do it one day. Probably a little less, actually. This is a section with the rebar. You could tell there's at least three or four different, three pours back here, I think, where I, the section I took out. And we pour the whole patio and then we do a 14 by 14 over there in the next video. And he's going to put like a DG with pavers and garden. It's going to look really cool. So I just slide it away from the wall so I don't bump the wall. Or you don't know if that wall is solid, grouted with con concrete or what. So I'll just pull it away so I don't bump the wall and knock it over. And once it has wire in it or whatever, you can just put the bit straight in and pull it away. Just hammering it out. So we're all done breaking it. Now all we've got to do is load this last load out here, clean up and call it a day and the next day we come out and set it up and pour it the, the next day grade it out with the s70 thank you very much for watching the best in the west feel free to check out my instagram at west coast custom concrete and if you need a susan hydraulic hammer max will be in the description and thank you very much and have a nice day